killing a toxic co-worker's hopes, dreams, and future. Background, I got a job working for a small hardware company. Four people in the office, a few in the warehouse, and a delivery driver. Nothing fancy, but it got me off the night shift and onto a desk. The owner was a pretty nice guy, let's call him Ray. Ray took over the family business in the early 2000s. Like most small business owners he was pretty frugal. The job came with absolutely zero perks. 10 vacation days that doubled as sick days, no insurance, everyone was hourly and Ray hated paying odd. He had one large customer that accounted for about half his business and everything after that was profit. He had gotten to the point where the business was doing well enough to support his comfortable life, 10 to 3 schedule, 4 weeks vacation, season baseball tickets, and had zero interest in growing it beyond that point. But my problem was not with Ray, it was with the absolute bitch in the purchasing department. The players, 4 people in the office meant that every part of this business fell to one of us. Ray was the owner, he negotiated large-scale order both with customers and suppliers. Sarah was our admin slash receptionist, sweet as pie. I was in charge of order processing and logistics, and I did quite a bit of work revamping the company website. Ingrid, aka Bitch Supreme, handled small-scale purchasing and most of the other customers. Ingrid was a living nightmare sent to punish all mankind for our hubris. She had the personality of a one-dimensional Stephen King character that would be whipping an unruly mob into a frenzy. She was trash, plain and simple. She was also the most spiteful, hate-filled, vindictive gorgon to ever walk God's green earth. She was a born-again Christian so because she went to church every Sunday she thought she could do no wrong. Ingrid, for whatever reason, disliked me from my first day. I don't know if she saw me as a threat or was just having a mood swing, LM no psychologist but LM 98% sure she was bipolar, but she was not happy about my joining the company. She kept it civil at first. Ingrid loved to gossip at anybody who would listen and since I was always at my desk I made for a captive audience. Everything she said was vile and mean-spirited, and most of it was blatant projection. She would complain about which actresses she didn't like like because they were too fat, Ingrid was easily north of the 300 pounds mark, or had an annoying voice, Ingrid had a slight lisp. She would thump her Bible to the tune of how the gays were trying to destroy the sanctity of marriage, she was twice divorced, and complain about how Obamacare was costing her too much money, she had no insurance for herself or her kids, and had a handful of pre-existing conditions, she just hated Obama. She would tell stories about how she was with her son at the grocery store and he yelled at a Polish woman to speak American or get out of the country like she was proud of it all in just the worst person I've ever had to work with. In spite of all that I felt I could just ignore Ingrid's bullshit and do my job, but then she started focusing her dislike of me into petty hatred. The spiral downward, Ingrid would take anything and everything personally. If I didn't say good morning to her she would complain to Ray that I was being rude. Ray knew she had a screw loose so he dismissed it. She didn't like that. She started trying to frame me for not entering orders that she claimed to have given me a week ago. I quickly put that shit to bed by date stamping every order that came across my desk and checking with her, Ray, and Sarah for new orders every hour on the hour. Every time something went wrong her knee-jerk reaction was to blame me and throw me under the bus. The breaking point, one of our larger customers bought from us because their purchaser was Y friend of Ingrid's. She made the connection between the businesses and Ray gave her a decent commission from it. I had met through a friend of a friend the purchaser from another large manufacturing company that uses products very similar to ours. Ray told me if I could get them to submit a sample order he would give me the same kind of commission, but that it was all on me because drumming up new business was extra work that he didn't want to do. Now like I said, this job had no perks so any shot at extra cash was a godsend. I rode my desk hard, my phone, my email, chasing this lead like a hungry dog. Finally I got the purchaser to agree to submit the order. I was over the moon. Enter Ingrid. This whole time she was pouring doubt and skepticism over the entire venture, really she just didn't want anybody else to achieve what she had. Sarah was on vacation so Ingrid had taken over front desk duties for the week. I don't hear back from the purchaser, ever. Eventually I get a hold of him a month later and ask when he was going to send the sample order. He told me that he had called a few weeks back and that the lady he spoke to said that our company didn't have the capacity to supply what they wanted. I ask him what day he called, turns out it was during the week Ingrid was answering phones. Okay, act like human garbage, whatever, I don't care. Try to make me look bad at work, screw you, lil rise above it. Sabotage my chance for a substantial raise? Now you've awoken the dragon. I was trying to save up for a down payment on a house, and Ingrid thinks she can put my future on hold? Nope. Not happening I vowed that vengeance would be mine. Check out part 2 posted now.